Charlie and Chloe, one of you received one vote to save, one received two votes to save. The person with two votes to save is Charlie and Chloe. Unfortunately, you've been raptured with one vote to save. So Jojo is still here and while I know I can continue to work with him, probably uh, me splitting my vote with Chloe, likely burned goodwill, any goodwill that was left with me, uh, with Dresden and probably affected uh, my chances with Trevor also. It's time to go into rat mode. That's just how I felt the whole time. <laughs> So I'm getting ready to descend from the GG's. The other girlina is about to come up. And all I want is to see Charlie's face come up those stairs. And I see it's my girl, Chloe, who got voted out. I'm devastated. I see that my girl Chloe has fallen. She's a fallen angel now. Girl, I'm gonna miss you so much. Um, that was not the best case scenario for my game whatsoever, but I am glad I still have my number one in. All right, cheers to top eight, the golden Woo! boy! I'm feeling really confident at this point in how I can perform in these challenges. It was a little bit hard to throw some of these earlier challenges when I felt like I needed to, to further my game and to utilize that strategy to my advantage. But now I can actually go for it and really win challenges and I'm starting to build confidence that I can find a way forward even if I have to fight tooth and nail for it. Welcome final eight. Woo! Welcome to your final Omni of the night. <laughs> Luckily for you, you won't have to rapture anyone else tonight. But oh, oh my god! Oh, yeah. Yeah. still a few other things to get to sure. tonight before you party. <laughs> <laughs> Can you think of anything more hellish than sports? Absolutely horrific. And that's why I'm so stoked for this next Omni Child to be played bracket style. Mr. Gates, the fishbowl of fate. Clues, but Nate will be playing Noah. Nate and Noah. You got the 16th seed on this bracket. <laughs> Charlie will be playing Trevor. <laughs> Jaben will be playing JoJo. There you are. And that leaves Lydia and Dresden. Now that we know who is battling who, we can get down to business. This trial is called Ping Pong Po, and here's how it works. You and your opponent will take turns throwing or bouncing one of your balls into the three by three tic-tac-toe cups at the end of the table. If you don't know how tic-tac-toe works, I'll give you a moment to Google it. Oh, wait, you don't have your phones? <laughs> Here are some basic house rules. The player who is drawn first by Mr. Gates from the fishbowl chooses their color and goes first. If your ball lands in a cup that already has a ball in it, it is a dead ball. However, in the chance that your ball moves another ball out of the cup it lands in, then it's fair game as there will only be one ball in that cup. If all nine cups are filled or no tic-tac-toe is possible, we'll reset and start over in sudden death mode. That means that the two contenders will not take turns, but bounce balls as fast as they can to see who can get tic-tac-toe first. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. You guys know I love a devilish yet predetermined twist. 
whoever wins this tourney bracket will not only choose who enters the pits, but will also secure their spot in the final six. Because this is a double elimination round. Yeah! Only the player left in the pits after the drag down who receives the most votes to save will make it out alive. <laughs> Any questions? The double. We knew a double was coming. It had to be here at some point. Um, I kind of assumed this was gonna happen tonight. Just gonna have to try and get through it. Um, I am, however, kind of nervous for Charlie and I. We get told that this round is a double elimination round, and honestly, I've never made it past top eight in any LRG I've ever played. So when the bracket gets announced, I look at Nate dead in the eye and I say, if I win this or you win this, we don't nominate each other. Uh, so when I saw it was tic-tac-toe and a beer pump sound, I'm like, finally, all these years of drinking have finally fucking paid off, and maybe this will lead me to winning the prize money, and I can say that this skill was worth something. These balls are floating as much as I did the first few rounds of this game, but it's time for me to sink some shots. And honestly, tic-tac-toe isn't my strong suit, and the only X's and O's I'm giving are to people's asses on the way out the door. We have three yeah. tacks for pink and no tacks for blue. Now watch your guy do that. So this game isn't necessarily my strong suit. I have walked away from beer pong games because they were just taking too damn long. Um, and I'm up against someone who is nearly twice my size and has quadruple the reach. For ping pong po, it's basically tic-tac-toe and beer pong. Uh, in university college, I was not good at ping pong, like beer pong. So I was like, I'm fucked. Some of these boys look like they know what they're doing. Eventually, he figures out he can bounce the ball and starts getting block after block after block. I was paired with Charlie for the first round, and I, I thought he had it in like two seconds, but I kept blocking and blocking him.
So the first few girls that are going up, they are taking 15 full minutes to complete these rounds. And I'm like, where are the party girls? I think everyone's just having a blast right now during this challenge. I think the day has been long, everyone has been sweating, the anxiety has been flowing, and people are just having fun. It's a riot and taking everyone back to kind of college days, and it's a great comp. Did not do too great at this challenge though, however, just because it was just sink, 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 Joe, sit back down, and I'm out. So it's the end of the night and we're playing a friendly or not so friendly game of ping pong po. And I felt like I could probably do pretty well at this. I used to be roommates with a bunch of college graduates, so a game like this is right up my alley. We have a tick. Oh, it, unfortunately, it's not a tick. I beat Lydia. I kind of felt like I would win one of these rounds. I mean, my roommate, my former roommates would probably be disappointed in me if I didn't win any of the rounds. I feel like I'm close to maybe winning this Omni and I can finally secure Omni win and add that to my resume. That means Nate versus Trevor. Come on, Trevor. I don't really want to win this because I am in a good spot with kind of everyone or at least a good enough spot that even if someone I, that would put me up put me up, I feel like I'd have the votes to stay or with, maneuver my way and I like power. So if I lose, it's not a big deal. The challenge was so much fun. We were drinking, everyone was screaming, we were hollering, we were making stupid jokes, people were laughing. Um, it was just crazy, just like how much fun just like beer pong can really be. <laughs> Oh, 
It's a slight block. It's something, yeah. It's block. It's not totally close. I knew this was the Omni that I wanted to win because I was like, I haven't won any yet. I'm like, the numbers are kind of dwindling at this point and I just don't want to risk being one of two people who are gonna be going home this week. I was so fucking excited. I fucking won. I knew I was gonna get this one. Um, and what a better time than to have a double elimination. Um, and to know that no one's going home um, tonight is very nice to know. It does uh, kind of suck that two people are gonna be going in the morning. But at this point, this is the best spot for my game. Congratulations on winning this all important Omni competition. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, obviously at this point you're my number one. So, oh my god. Thank you so much. You saved me. I'll do it. Like, since you're gonna go up there and won't have a vote in this fucking crazy thing, what would you want me to do? Like, tell me and I'll make sure it happens. Nate wins this double elimination Omni, and I'm like, okay, I like the power. I need to be down here, especially if I want to save, like, my allies like Javen who tend to be in trouble a lot, I need to be down here with them. So I'm okay that I lose. I had faith that he was gonna work well with me and we, and we were gonna get on the same page. And like the first thing he does in our one-on-one -on -one chat, he hugs me and he says, Trevor, you're my number one, you're my number one. Like, I'm so excited to win this. You know you're safe, you're my number one. And I'm like, I'm your number one. I thought you knew like people from around Columbus on this cast and like, what did I do to become your number one? Like it didn't, I was very confused, um, but I didn't even say it back. I was just like, thanks, like, okay. So I brought me down Noah, Lydia, and then I was still kind of up in the air, but last round, Charlie threw his little on Chloe, and I was just on the chair, which I think he just got scared and panicked, yeah. but I think that we can make a pack that fucking we all save Craig mm -hmm. straight down. Like, I, do you think they would do it? I, I, think, I think I'm just gonna tell people, like, uh, I'm saying you're not putting you down the chance that you're gonna have a two thirds of a chance of going home, then you need to vote how to win. So then we basically say like, okay, let's just t try and take out um, Charlie or Lydia at this point because they are kind of been on the bottom and we've been working in a good voting block for a while. So let's do it. And I'm like, yeah, let's just pile on all the votes on the person that gets, even the person that gets dragged down we have enough and it's fine. Not even kind of, they talk stupid something bitch. Up. <laughs> talk something up. They gave us an idea and we ran with it. Yeah. I mean, and we're executing it. I'm happy that Nate won this competition. Nate is someone that I am also working with. And so, oh, 
Win, him winning is essentially a win for me too, I feel like, because I, he's not gonna put me up. <laughs> Yeah. So I think my head right now is going with Lydia. I just haven't worked with her a lot. Noah, just because he's such a wild card. And, he is a wild card, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I can already let him have it. I mean, unfortunately, his game self-destructed without me even being there. So I witnessed this. <laughs> yes. It was chaos. Noah and I did make a deal before we started um, that we would save each other if either of us did win Omni. Um, I don't know how I'm going to stick to that deal necessarily because I have deals with other people um, that have been going on throughout this entire game. I trust JoJo more than I trust Noah. Like, oh, for sure. 100% sure. trust Noah more than yeah. I trust Noah. Chiropractor. Mm -hmm. I don't even have one. <laughs> <laughs> they, they will break your back, bitch. Exactly. Um, okay. I think the only thing is if one of them went and dragged somebody down, I would just like it if it is Trevor or Dresden that you would save them, which I think that works yeah, for you either way. way. So Nate promises me that he's not going to put me, Trevor, Dresden, or JoJo in the pits as long as we vote to save whoever gets dragged down. Cause it's gonna be either one of us. Congrats. Thank you, thank you. Is our deal still? So, I don't know if I can honor it, to be honest. Okay. I know we made kind of like a deal at the beginning, yeah. but just the people that have voted for me, like voted with me for the past like six or seven votes, I kind of have, I cannot just put them up. Noah was just kind of like, a player that I didn't necessarily fully trust. I mean, I literally had to make this man promise uh, his allegiance to me with his dog's ashes. So I don't really think that um, I want to promise my allegiance to him on a beer pong competition that I had a pretty good chance that I was going to win. And I'm just being transparent with you because I don't want to lie to anybody right. that I'm putting right. up. And I do think that you have a great chance of winning the comp because you fucking killed that last challenge of like the word finding. Is and it going to be a word comp? I don't know, I don't know production, Wait, but I think you have a good chance of winning. Nate, we made a deal. You broke your promise. I've made promises to you. I've kept them. I've had your back in this game. And you scratched my back. Not with your nails, but rusty ones. So honestly, the tetanus shot, it's gonna be going up the ass when I win this resurrection comp and join you upstairs because you have a lot of explaining to do. I think Jaden has a big resume because he's always been down in the pits, always won the drag, and that drag got knocked out so many times. Yeah. Right? Becca into Mark into John. Mm. John was a big one and things were really and then immediately when he on me. Yeah. That's big. Yeah. Um, I um, definitely wanted to put up Charlie. Um, I just didn't necessarily um, know where his head at, was at in the game, and I felt like I had to do a lot of different moves with people who um, were down in the pits while he was up in the Golden Gates having a mocktail. So yeah, I, I do think, like, I just don't want to like lie and be like, no, I'm not going to sit you down. But, like, and I know you wouldn't, because yeah. there's no reason to. Yeah. yeah. But I do think you have a really good chance of winning like yeah. redemption between Noah and yeah. Lydia because yeah. neither of them have won, won on me. Mm -hmm. You've won it three times. Yeah. Nate winning, uh, I'm absolutely in the pits and that's fair. So I'm just going to be honest, I do have to put you up. Okay. And that is only because the people that I voted with, I've been voting for like voting yeah. with like five or six votes. And I like, I know that we kind of like had like a good like have like rapport ever since yeah. John's been voted out. Um, and then I was going to put up Lydia. Um, I do really like her and respect her as a player. Um, we just haven't really had like the strongest relationship as I do with these other players. Yeah, I'm just trying to play an honest game. I don't want to like blind to anybody. I yeah. just kind of like want to be like transparent about mm -hmm. it. So I go to Nate to plead my case, even though I know my name is pretty much set in stone in that ping pong ball by now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, I just no, want to it's okay. You. Oh, thank you. Me and Nate have a very great conversation. I really connect with Nate as a person. We just hadn't aligned in this game as strategic players. Uh, I was gonna put down Leah, Noah, and Charlie. So I think we're all on the same age to keep it like that, and as long as we protect the track down. That's right. That's the deal. Like, yeah. like, as long as whoever I save, I expect them to save the person who gets down. 
great. That's all I ask. That's all. And then we're all good. So for this week, being a double elimination, three people will still stay in the pits, but the two will go home and the one with the most votes will stay. Um, just definitely a lot more strategy behind this. It's gonna be a lot more social gameplay um, and definitely just a lot of strategic moves here. I had conversations with everybody as I was doing my nominations and I told the people who um, who I was gonna send down before I sent them down. It was just something that I thought would be good for my game just to be straight up and honest because there's really nothing that they can do to me because I'm gonna be on me this week and it's a double elimination so two of them will probably go anyways. So I wanted to be straight up and honest and Noah was definitely not very happy that I just promised him that I wouldn't send him in and then I just told him that I was gonna break that promise. Um, so that was kind of like my first lie in this game, to be honest. Welcome, Nate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To the final ascension of the night. This is my first time in this position. Everybody else said I voted toward a save. I've done that, and I kind of wanted to keep that going, even if I'm in a position of power. Um, so the first person I'm sending will be Lydia. I love you as a person. We just haven't worked together this whole game. Um, and then the next one is Noah. I will be transparent and say that Noah and I had a deal that before this last challenge that we would not go each other in the pit. I had to go against that. And that's probably the first time I have probably lied to anybody in this game, but the connections that I've made with some of the other people in this room have been challenged time after time after time, and you guys have came through for me. So I can't make a one-time deal that's gonna screw you guys over. And then Charlie is my last vote. Um, I think just the last vote just kind of, uh, just, um, I guess was just like a little bit of like insecurity with our trust together. Um, so unfortunately I had to put you down there, but I'm so sorry for you all. I went out and during nominations, I told them all that I made that deal with Noah and I was going back on it because I had deal with other people that had a lot more longevity and um, actual benefits to my game. Um, so I felt bad like lying to him, but I came clean about it. So these sins are gone. <laughs> so it feels good to be safe and not only be safe but to save all of my alliance members from this double elimination because that could really hurt my numbers and put me in a shitty position in this game. Um, I'm really hoping that um, I can get rid of both Lydia and possibly um, Noah. Um, so I'm just wondering who's gonna end up winning Redemption and who's gonna uh, be able to do the drag down. Hello contenders. In this all important POP slash POR competition, we will be having two rounds to separate the cursed ones and the leftovers. Each heat will compete in a 3D pyramid puzzle. Finish the puzzle first in order to enter the gates and secure your safety during this double elimination. That's it for the rules. Will you be able to complete the golden pyramid So this Power of Redemption comp is a puzzle and I'm normally pretty good at puzzles but there was a lot of pressure this round to try and win this because with the double elimination and Mia and my number one in the pits, it is do or die right here for us. Noah, Lydia, and myself are up. These are all uh, numbers I need, so this is going to be a brutal round for me, no matter which way it goes. I am familiar with this puzzle. I know it's all about things leaning on each other at weird angles, and that is all I know about it. We're 10 minutes in. Uh, I keep looking over at anyone else if they have any epiphanies and no luck. Uh, anytime I get something going, it's just because I'm actually just holding the pieces together manually. I 
I have this puzzle at home, but I haven't practiced it in a while. I've done this competition in many games where I've solved it too fast. So honestly, I'm just gonna play with the pretty colored ping pong balls, but I know the solution to this puzzle. And I know I'm finally seeing the top six for once in my life. First time in my life, not only have I won two comps back to back, but I'm in the top six. I came into this game saying, don't be the personality, play. I'm here, and honestly, I can go to bed without having to worry about being betrayed. Unfortunately for us, Noah wins this challenge and we are completely deflated because now it's set in stone that at least one of me or Charlie is going this round. Congratulations, Noah. You have secured your safety in the power of redemption and secured your spot in the final six. Please hand me your, your horns before I give you this key. I've never made it this far in an LRG in 15 years. And I have. So we start the Golden Pyramid competition and I think I have it all figured out. I form a triangle on the bottom and I put all the ping pong balls into this triangular prism and I put my hands up. I think I won. So today I learned a pyramid is not the same as a prism. But that's a beautiful work of art. Thank you. I love Still it. Thank you. Thank Egypt. It's a late day. I'm very tired. And I feel like now we have a competition where we're basically like toddlers playing with action figures. Because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And because this competition is going on for as long as it's going on, but like nobody else does either. So for the next competition, the Golden Pyramid, I'm almost like, do, do I even care? Like if I get dragged down, like I think I have the votes, like it's fine. I did try really hard, but it was like, in the back of my head, I was like, this isn't life or death. I don't need to panic and run through this pyramid. The Golden Pyramid, things have just went from a great high fun game to literal hell. No one can solve this pyramid. We are all looking at the same piece that is not lining up. Nothing is working. It is the most frustrating thing I've ever done. And I can just see things falling through my fingers right now. And I cannot figure this one out. So we've been at this competition now for 20 minutes and we are all exhausted. I am so tired. And then one piece leads to another, and I think, wow, am I getting this? We have a winner. Okay. 
Isaac. Uh, mm -hmm. <sighs> Javen, congratulations. You have won the power protection. Oh, you your man. spot in the final six. Wow. Oh my God. God. It is time to go and enter the gates. Oh, Easy Peter sounds. That was fucking insane. Good job. Uh, Thank you. So I have not been the best at these mental competitions, but somehow I pulled this off and won safety, and I am in the top six. Well, it's been a long day, but I'm sure it's going to be a longer night. That's all for me. I'll see you first thing tomorrow morning for the drag down. Good luck, everyone. Once Javen is ascended and we're, there's just the people in limbo that are left, I'm like, wait. Does this make sense? Is this plan foolproof? I really have been just exhausted and didn't really think it through. And I'm a very strategic person that wants to think everything through. I want to look at every angle and make sure it works perfectly for me and my alliance. And I realized, I'm like, okay, wait. Noah ascended. Lydia won the, the power to pull someone down. And Charlie's just sitting there. And I'm like, okay. Her options to pull someone down is Dresden, me or Jojo. So she pulls, what, say she pulls me down. Let's go like this. I'm thinking, would I have the votes to stay like I thought I would? Uh, sure, if we go by our pact, we have Dresden and Jojo voting to save me. That's two votes. That's only two votes. And then we have Charlie and Lydia voting to save each other most likely because they know they're on the bottom. And then my vote goes to someone else whoever I pick. Suddenly, it's two, two, one. That's a tie. I don't want to be fucking dragged in the pits and be in a tie, the first tie of the season. I don't want that. So I'm thinking to myself, this is actually a crisis. Lydia comes inside. And even though everyone's kind of broken off for the night, no one's talking game, I say, Lydia, do you have like a, a second? Like, does your brain have capacity right now to talk a little bit more game? She's like, sure, let's talk. And we go into the, the, like, the bathroom. So after this pyramid challenge that did not go my way, it is getting really late at night. A lot of people are asleep. Some people are in the hot tub, some are partying, drinking, and it seems like the gang talk has really died down. However, I came inside out of the hot tub and no one was around but Trevor and he pulled me and said, I'm not done playing this game tonight. And he laid out a plan for me that just smelled so juicy that I really wanted to bite. And I say, Lydia, do you know what you're doing yet? And she says, no, no one's giving me any information at all. If you give me information, it's gonna be beneficial for you. And I said, okay, listen, we all made a pact. We're just gonna pile votes on the person that's dragged down, but I just realized that's not gonna work and it's gonna tie. So I was like, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna throw this out there. I'm saying, if you don't put me in the pits, you don't drag me down, that I will vote to save you. But you have to put Jojo because Dresden might, I might be able to convince Dresden to also save you. And we just make the move, we lose Jojo and we push forward. Trevor let me know that he felt that there was a way for me to stay with his help and I was all for it. I have felt like I kept a great relationship with Trevor from the beginning. He was ready to flip on some of these power players, which is what we had been begging to happen for weeks now. So I was all for this conversation and I made a promise to him that if he could save me this round, I would be indebted to him and I would trust him over everyone else left and he would be my guy. Hello everybody. I hope you had a great night. I'm sure there's a lot of discussing, a lot of strategizing, but there is five of you down here. Two in the pits, three in limbo. Lydia, you need to now drag one of the three players in limbo into the pits with you and Charlie. 
Okay. This was not an enjoyable round, especially to be the person to drag down. I feel like I have good relationships with all of you. And unfortunately, because it's a double, I have to just do whatever I can to save myself. Um, so I have to give it to you, Jojo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lydia. Uh, it is now Jojo, Lydia, and Charlie in the pits. The five of you will have just a few moments to go discuss, strategize, and see which two of you will be raptured in a few moments. Good luck. So I get dragged down. I kind of figured this was gonna happen. Lydia was with John and kind of that group at the beginning. Um, I kind of have been playing a pretty strong game. I know I'm kind of someone that needs to go at some point, but I am still just gonna kind of campaign. I'm also still just kind of hoping that we still have that pact that we made from last night that we're not gonna throw out the drag person. Hi. Okay, so. You talk. I think that I want to say JoJo this time around. Lydia sitting there as well. I feel like Lydia is like a little sister to me and seeing her there kind of like hurts me a little bit. But ultimately I know that like I'm closer to JoJo at this point of the game. I am most likely going to keep um, I'm most likely going to keep JoJo just because Charlie, he needs to go to Charlie to me lives. And I love Lydia. I feel like this is probably like a really hard vote for me because like I, I genuinely care about Lydia in this game, but my ties with JoJo are stronger and I feel like I've given him my word and so I don't want to go back on it. I go in, talk with Dresden, and I say, what do you want to do? Is it still the same plan? He's like, yeah, I really want to save JoJo. Like, that's what we talked about. Let's save JoJo. And I'm like, wait a second. What if this end game after this round? Charlie has to go to Monaco. We know that. What if we kept Lydia? Because I know that me and you are very close to me. So is JoJo. You think Nate will be okay with it? I don't think he would be okay with it, but I think Nate can beat all of us in the game. And I think that everyone would think that. And if he's mad at us, he's mad at us, but I don't know if he'd have anyone else still. Trevor pitches the idea to save Lydia this round and maybe start chipping away at some of the people that we've been working with and that would include Jojo. Right. Um, and for me, my main thing, like this whole time is me and Jamin. Like when you came to me with that, I'm like, yes, please. So I've never, I've never made any final deals with no one. Jojo, it makes sense in a way because Jojo, while we are close, I know he's closer to other people and he's closer to someone who's like a big target in this game or becoming a big target in this game, and that's Nate. Like I know Nate is gonna be pissed, but like, yeah. at, the end of, at the end of the day, we can't play this game like a deal either. No, we can't. So. Lydia's gonna be so happy. Maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea to get JoJo out this round and um, create room, wiggle room for Nate to go in one of the future rounds. The reason that I'm doing this is for my own safety, but this is also at the same time, I'm thinking who can I beat at the end of this game? I, I don't know if I can beat Nate. I don't know if I can beat Jojo. I don't know if I can beat Javen. I'm close to all of them, even Dresden. I don't know if I can beat him, but I'm close to these people. And everyone's looking at Lydia, Noah, and even Charlie at this point as like weaker people in this, in this moment. I need to start saving some people on that side, including Lydia and working with new people to just kind of have all angles of this house. Either way, you know, 
It's up to you too. Yeah. I have more challenge history to help take it away from the people that need to take it away from them. And that's my offer. So going into this vote and the double elimination up with Jojo and Lydia. So Lydia and I are in the same position and um, we know that the only way out for one of us is if whoever the two that aren't dragged agree to knock out the person that is dragged. So we need to start talking to those pairs to see who's actually willing to finally make a move. I had a conversation with Charlie and let him know everything I knew that was happening this round about the fact that I was going to vote to save him and that I most likely had Dresden and Trevor's vote to stay, leaving the option open for Charlie to throw a Hail Mary for himself and throw a vote not on me, even though I'm his ally, so that he could potentially save himself. And I told him, don't think about me, think about your game and yourself and you do what you have to do to save yourself and I will do what I have to do to save myself. Welcome to the double elimination rapture. There are three of you in the pits and only two in limbo for a total of five votes. Five votes to save one player. Of course, as always, the three of the people in the pits will get the chance to have a little discussion to try to sway some votes. So Charlie, you can go first. It's time for the rubber to meet the road and maybe uh, that should have started a while ago, but no time like the present start. And I feel like I am the strong candidate to help you achieve some of our shared goals. Lydia, it's your turn. I'm not going to stand up because I'm all wrapped up in this, <laughs> um, but like, obviously I've said everything I feel like I could possibly stay to like plead my case to stay. Like if you choose to keep me, um, I will fully repay that favor, I promise. And there are so many people that need their turn over here that have not yet, so um, yeah, just I hope you do whatever you feel is best for you. Thank you. And Jojo? Um, yeah, just kind of retweeting, I guess, what I said yesterday. Um, I've spent a lot of time trying to build relationships with you guys, and I think we did that and have been continuing to do that. And I think this is now just another spot where we see if that helped, and I hope it did, and I hope for me. Okay, the five of you have to line up the stairs and we'll be voting. This is probably a very, this is a very hard vote for me. I'm thinking about the end game. It may bite me an ass, but I'm going to vote to save Lydia. So I went to Lydia last night, fucking super late, and cut a deal to not get nominated because there's no way I was going to get nominated and get in a tie. So I want to stick to that deal, even though it's breaking my other deal. And I vote to save Lydia. <laughs> um, but I am voting to save Charlie. I officially vote to save Charlie. So, here's the situation. If Trevor and Dresden are not making a move, JoJo's through. If they are making a move, they're choosing between myself and Lydia. If they're choosing between myself and Lydia, my, me voting for Lydia might cut me out. So I should vote for Jojo because either it's moot or it might be the defining factor. And my only pitch <clears throat> in the slim chance I might have is I did everything I strategically could to just scrape by even if it didn't pay off. I think Lydia would understand given it's a double limb and it's one of us either way. Uh, I'm casting my vote for Jojo. Hello, contenders, the five of you. There's only five. We've tallied the vote. Remember that it is a double. We will be doing the eliminations one at a time. With one vote to save, the first raptured player 
is Jojo. It. I'm sorry. It's all good. You can say two you words. Say something. Of course. Now, this was just a lot of fun. I totally want to eat my game. I went from being a shady villain player to just an open, honest player. That being said, though, these two are shady motherfuckers who know each other outside this game, so the old villain is coming back. Don't believe this one. She was in cahoots with John and kind of running that side of the house. And this one, I stopped for making a lot of dumbass decisions this entire game. So, that being said, Good job, though. Good oh, job, though. Good job. Can I say something about that? No, you're not allowed to talk unless you're eliminated. That was cool to me. This sucks. I obviously wanted to keep going, um, but I am honestly really proud of my game. I did a complete 180 from my normal game style. I'm used to the aggressive, cutthroat, I'm not working with anyone, I don't want new friends, I don't care about any of these people, and tried to play an honest, open, cards facing up game. I think it kind of worked. It got me to single digits. I'm happy with that. This has been an amazing experience. I've had a lot of fun with everyone. Um, hope you guys see me again soon. Okay, so what's about, what's about to happen is we have a tie. Oh, fuck. In the event of a tie, the reigning Omni breaks the tie. Ooh. Period. So you, they don't know that downstairs yet. We're gonna call you down and you have to immediately make your decision. Jojo has just been raptured, but we have one rapture left. By a vote of two to two, come on down. Hello, Hello Nate. As the Omni, you have the opportunity to break the tie. You must now immediately decide to either Rapture, Charlie, or Lydia. Um, so this wasn't really, I guess, my plan, but um, obviously there was some shady business going on, so I'm going to save Lydia. Which means Charlie will be Raptured. I had so much fun. Um, everyone keep playing for yourselves and your best interests. I loved this round, I was very excited. Thank you. I don't think there's any chance uh, Nate would save me. Lydia, I have a very brief connection with. Uh, before this game, we never spoken in person, but as soon as I walked in, uh, we clicked and we knew we were locked in for day one. Jojo, hugely, hugely uh, helpful and kind to me, especially in that first round uh, where, you know, I wasn't having a great time and he was really there for me. He kind of was giving me that information and helping me also emotionally on top of that. 